Max here, Frozen CPU. Today we're looking at some more XSPC products. XSPC's new line of TX radiators, as thin as it gets. These suckers are thinner than a fan. Coming in at 22 millimeters. Let's get into it. I got four sizes for you here today. I got a 480, 360, 240, 120. Let's have a look. So, quick word on radiators. Why would you want a really thin radiator when you can have it very thick? Well, the tendency is the thinner radiators generally have denser fins. Uh, the denser fins allows for more thermal transfer into the air in your loop. All right, but what else comes with denser fins? You're gonna need higher static pressure fans, which can get expensive to be able to actually push the air through the fins. Also, high density fins, in turn, hold dust a lot more than low density fins. When you get the thicker rads like the 60s and the 80s and the huge and the 45s, generally, not always, the fin density is uh, much looser. Dust does not collect as easily, air flows right through them, they're quieter. Sometimes these dense radiators can be loud. All right, so let's get into the box. All right, today I'm gonna open up for you the 360. I like the nice and white XSPC is gone for today. All right, so opening the box up. The typical XSPC fashion, nothing too fancy. You get your little kit of screws. These are 632nd screws. Uh, you get long ones and short ones. Radiator comes in bubble wrap. And sometimes they do a piece of cardboard on top. In this case, it's just some white paper. Alright, there it is. There's a nice close-up look of it. Pretty high fin density, I must say. Okay, you got the nice uh, logoing etched into the side there. Not a bad piece. Alright. Uh, but that thickness, and there's the radiator. Pretty darn thin. Okay, my finger's almost a little bit thicker. One thing to note about these uh, would have to be the screw depths. As you can see, uh, not a lot of room to screw fans to a millimeter fan. This fan's about 24 millimeters deep. Uh, the problem is, this screw, we're going to see how far this will go in. Threads decently though. Not bad tapping job. Right there is where that screw is touching the fins. Now if I move this fan in and show you, all right, right away, you're gonna need washers for this to go in between this spot, or else you're going to run into a damaged radiator. And that size is gonna vary on the different ports because the core is not exact on both sides. One side, the core may be a little closer to the shroud than the other, okay? So you're gonna have to go out and purchase washers for these radiators. All right, I guess that's one of the trade-offs with this super low-profile stuff. Because again, as you can see, it's incredibly close. From Access PC, we have these guys here. All right, very excited about this product myself. This is a glass tube inline filter. It matches the Access PC PNTG fins perfectly. All right, it comes in black and black, or it comes in black chrome and regular chrome. Um, it's essentially a compression fitting inside of here that goes over a glass tube. Uh, really nice to note is the fact that in the bag you get two, or what is that, three, you get two or three replacement screens, looks like three in this one, and two replacement compression o-rings. Most of the time you see maybe one or two replacement screens. Uh, the last inline filters I had to use from another brand I had to find rings that fit online and that was not a fun task. Here Access PC gives them to you and these things are gorgeous looking. They are very pretty. Um, definitely into it. Going to look really cool. Right. The screens they give you are these small screens. Um, I generally take the bigger screens out of mine if they have both. The bigger screens are only good for huge chunks. Um, which usually most of the chunks you get out of radiators and stuff are quite a bit smaller and a smaller screen. Um, a lot of people worry about using opaque coolants with these. I use opaque at home with filters. It's not a problem at all. Uh, filters are restricted to flow. 
to a certain amount, so keep that in mind. All right, everyone, thanks a lot for stopping by, checking out these new XSPC products available today at frozencpu.com. If you have any questions, uh, go ahead and shoot me an email, max at frozencpu.com, and as always, have yourself a great day.